Mog and Bunny by Judith Kerr. One day Mog got a present. Here you are, Mog, said Nikki. This is for you. It's called Bunny. Mog liked Bunny. She carried him about. She played with him and played with him and played and played and played with him. He was her best thing. When Mog came to have her supper, Bunny came too. Sometimes Mog thought Bunny would like a drink. But Bunny wasn't very good at drinking. Oh dear, said Deb. Look where's Bunny got to. And she put him on the radiator to dry. At night, Bunny slept with Bob in her basket. During the day, when Mog was busy, she always put Bunny somewhere nice. You never knew where Bunny would get to. Sometimes Bunny liked to be quite inclusive. And sometimes he liked to be where there was a lot going on. Mr. and Mrs. Thomas didn't understand this. They didn't say, look where's Bunny got to. They shouted, yuck! They yelled, Urgh! what a horrible dirty thing. And they tried to throw Bunny away in the dustbin. One day, Mr. Thomas said, let's have supper in the garden. Everyone helped to carry things out of the house. It was a lovely supper. But suddenly, there was a crash of thunder and poured with rain. Quick, inside, shouted Mrs. Thomas. It's bedtime anyway. Where is Mark? said Debbie. I expect she is keeping dry under a bush, said Mrs. Thomas. She'll come in later. In the middle of the night, Debbie and Nikki woke up. Mark had not come in and it was still pouring with rain. Let's go and find her, said Debbie. It was very dark in the garden. They shouted, Mark! Where you are, Mark! But nothing happened. Then they heard a meow. Meow! There she is! shouted Nikki. Come on, Mog! Come inside! But Mog just went and sitting in the rain. It was dripping off her nose. What's the matter, Mog? said Debbie. Then she said, Oh dear, look where's Bunny got to. Nikki picked the bunny up and showed him to Mog. It's all right, Mog, he said. We have set bunny free. You can come inside now. Then they carried bunny through the dark garden and through the house. And they put him on the radiator to dry. Then they all had a big sleep. In the morning, they told Mrs. Thomas what had happened and how Mog had stayed with Bunny in the dark and the rain. Debbie said, You won't really throw Bunny away in the dustbin, will you? Mrs. Thomas said, No, never. It would make Mog too sad. Then she sighed and said, Perhaps Bunny is not quite so horrible. Now he's being washed by the rain, they all look on the radiator. But this is where Bunny had got to.